I've been procrastinating on this for a while now, but it's time that I get started on developing our Wix app. So we've been thinking about creating an app for Wix, uh, a Prospero version for Wix for a while now. Now, I've met with the business development um, of the app store at Wix a while ago and I've shared this uh, on the vlog here. And at the beginning I wasn't really sure that we we're going to do this, but recently with kind of the strategic decision that we had in Prospero to lower our prices, it seems that having a an app on the Wix platform is going to be actually a great way for us to get into a massive audience and so we've decided to move forward with this project and I've been still in touch with the business development um, woman and the first step that we have to take um, as she explained to me, is actually create a whole wireframe set of every kind of scenario and page of, of our service, how this would actually look inside uh, a Wix website and what's gonna be the experience for them. So I've actually postponed this for weeks now because just because it's kind of a boring task for me, uh, it's mainly uh, consists of you know, doing a lot of screenshots of Prospero and kind of putting them, placing them inside of the Wix interface. So I kinda didn't feel like doing this, but uh, again, on a strategic level, it's very important. And so uh, I've decided that I'm gonna tackle this today. And I did this, it actually took me like an hour and a half, something like this. And I kinda wanna show you um, what it is, how it looks like. So basically on the Wix developer website, on the documentation page, you actually have um, kind of example that they show here um, for a Dropbox app. Um, kind of, I guess it's a fake app. Um, so this is basically the type of wireframes that they want to see. Something very simple um, and actually every screen, how every screen and every button will operate. Um, so I didn't have to do like a box wireframe since we actually have the app running. So it was mainly, as I said, doing screenshots. And so I used basically uh, InDesign to create a document with lots of pages. Uh, I've started this with kind of an overview to let them know what, what Prospero is and to understand the context of this app. What we wanted to do is that uh, people will still have access to our proposal dashboard and once they create a proposal they'll be able to publish it on just as another page on their Wix website. So they'll have kind of their own domain and then dash a project um, and maybe perhaps in the future they'll be able to even, uh, I don't know, password protect it if they want to or just create the whatever URL that they want. Anyway, so um, basically this is the flow that I've created. Um, so this is inside of the Wix dashboard. I've placed our own dashboard and at the bottom of every page I kind of uh, explain the context of what's happening so in this cage, after adding the app, that's what prompts creation of the pro first proposal. So as you can see, there's like a bunch of pages because I'm trying to show uh, really every possible screen, what happens if you edit the fonts, what happens when you generate a PDF, um, and how does it look, how does the new page look inside of the Wix uh, website editor, how you can edit the page. And so basically this is it, it took something like, let me see, 20, yeah, 20 pages to explain the whole process. Um, and now I'm actually, I just sent this over to them and I'm gonna be working with their UX team to make sure, and I've heard they're really kind of uh, intense and, and very kind of, um, I don't know how to say this hard about because they really want the experience of apps in the app store to be really high quality and so they don't approve any just any app they're working together with you and it's a process that takes something like four to six months until your app is actually approved um, and so I'm looking forward to working with them and getting their feedback and, and doing something that's going to be appropriate on the Wix uh, platform and so took the first step into something that is I think important and has a potential to kind of be a game changer for Prospero and I uh, hope to hear from them and see you know what they're gonna say about this so probably we'll keep you updated on what are the next steps about this but this is gonna be a long process as it seems anyway uh, that's all for today guys uh, mainly I did client work today that I can't share with you and I'm heading home to be with the kids right now and so hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you tomorrow.